This is a nearly completed lucky number hat and the main difference with this hat is the fact that I've added stripes to the brim of the hat. And we still have the marker yarns in showing the areas where I made the decreases in the brim. But let's have a look at how to do this intarsia brim. Here's a sample of the striped brim and you begin with two rows of your main colour. So you keep the ball of the main colour but before you start wind two other small quantities of yarn, one for the stripe colour and if you're working in tarsia it's always easiest to wind the yarn that you're working into a yarn butterfly. This is a small dispensing unit that doesn't tangle so I can pull more yarn from the butterfly anytime I want it. So I need a butterfly of the stripe colour and I need either a length or a butterfly of the main colour. So I've got three sources of yarn, the ball, the stripe colour and one more butterfly of the main colour. So to begin use either your waist yarn, your provisional waist yarn edge or a regular cast on and the row is as usual. Knit to the last four stitches bring the yarn forward and slip the last four stitches purlwise. Now we'll turn and do row two. We're still ignoring the two butterflies of yarn, we're just using the yarn attached to the ball and we work the same row again. Knit the last four stitches and bring the yarn forward. and yarn forward. Slip the last four stitches. Notice I'm slipping needle tip to needle tip and just overlapping the tapers so I can easily push the stitches from one needle to the other. Now this is a stripe row but we have to begin with four stitches of our main ball. Now we've got to link the colours. So old yarn we finished with over to the left and pick up the new yarn from underneath and from the right. So this is our stripe colour and our main working yarn is being left behind. Knit until four stitches remain but instead of bringing this yarn forward link it over the length of main colour so the old colour goes across to the left and the new one gets picked up from underneath and from the right and we bring it forward before slipping the last four stitches. Now we use the main colour but the short length just to do those four stitches. We bring the yarn to the private side and over to the left, pick up the new one from the right and from underneath and take it to the working position. So that's an intarsia link except we're having to take the yarn to the far side of the work in order to knit the stitches on a wrong side row. When four stitches remain bring this yarn to the private side, the stripe yarn to the private side, pick up your main ball yarn which is waiting at that edge and slip those last four stitches. Now we're back at this edge and we can repeat that sequence over again. So it's two rows using only the main ball and then two rows linking the stripe colour and using the small ball of main colour at the far edge and this will provide a satisfactory join on both sides and enable you to use that as a very attractive brim for your hat. It also makes a lovely bag strap. Um, very attractive little bit of knitting. For much more on the intarsia techniques, check out my DVDs Intarsia Untangled 1 
and in Tarsia Untangled too.